this video, we're going to look at the final game that I created as part of my book, Beginning Game Programming with Pygame Zero. This is a space shooter program, a game which can be controlled by the keyboard, or optionally you can configure a controller to control this as well, which is uh, explained uh, on another video. Um, I'll put the links on that in the description. So just quickly show you the game. This is a, a spacecraft and as you can see it flies through and there's a number of asteroids coming towards you that you have to shoot out of the way. And you score points as you hit them, you miss them and you ride, you lose a life. Um, you can probably just about hear the sound effects. They're um, coming out of a separate speaker, so uh, they'll probably sound a bit faint on this. But that's um, a quick overview of the game. And uh, this includes um, various different aspects that are covered in the book, uh, that are built up throughout the book and uh, to show this game. I'm going to quickly look through um, some of the code. So the, the main file is space shooter.py, which is um, standard Pygame Zero code. It uses the draw function as well as the update function, which is there. Uh, this is all um, explained. Um, in my early videos as well, you can um, look, there's multiple class files, um, but this is all written using object to program in. Uh, just to give you a few examples, so the spaceship, for instance, is a child class of the actor class, which is the Pygame Zero class used for creating sprites. And this handles the movement of the spaceship. And it uses the parent methods such as draw to actually draw the image and just adds the extra code that's specific to the spaceship. There's another one for the shot. You see it's very basic again, it's a child class of the actor. Um, and this one has just got a very basic update that um, is called um, each time interval and moves the shot of the screen. Uh, the um, player class, uh, it holds scores. And the constants hold some constant values that are, are used uh, as, as, as though they're variable. Well, they are variables, but used as though they're constant. Um, and then the last two, so there's uh, enemies and an asteroid. So at the moment, the game only has asteroids but they are created as an enemy class. And the idea is that uh, if you follow the book, uh, it starts by giving you the basic knowledge to be able to create these games, but then suggests you go further. And by calling these an enemy, means that if you wanted to add a more complicated enemy than an asteroid, something that actually flies in and, and fly, maybe fires back, then you can do that through this. And so there's the enemy class, uh, which handles things like checking whether you collide, checking whether a shot hits the enemy and the asteroid and, and destroys it, handles the drawing of multiple enemies. So this is this this contains multiple um, enemies rather than just the one. 
and that um, the only enemy that's that's created at the moment is asteroid, which is another child class of the actor, and that has its own um, function. So the the update uh, in this case will it will draw the or move the position of the asteroid, but its speed is determined by or its velocity is determined by a variable in the uh, configuration of each of the asteroids. So hence you can have asteroids falling at different speeds. Things like that. So I'll just quickly go through um, the main program and show you some of the, the extra features that I've added uh, compared to the others. So uh, there's um, imports of um, time and sys, but also of all of the uh, the class files we're using. Width and height, you know, if you've seen any of my videos on Pi Game Zero, they all include the width and the height to create the screen. Uh, this one, I've added a title, and as you look, this is the title here. So that makes it look, helps make the game look a bit more polished when you've actually got that on. And an icon, um, which will show the icon on the menu bar. Various things to set up the game, creating the enemies, uh, setting the speed. Uh, one thing I, I didn't mention before when I looked at the enemies, so this actually um, loads the enemies. So they're, they're saved as a, a CSV. A commas separated variable file and it, it loads those in at the start so this again all, all the code is available here it's all available from the github library that accompanies the book which is uh, listed in the description and it, this basically handles loading multiple asteroids and setting all the, the relevant uh, settings. Now, uh, one of the things that I've added here is that the uh, in the previous um, games, collision has been handled using um, the collide uh, rectangle that are included in Pygame, which Pygame Zero uses. But in this case, because of the shape of the spaceship, as I show you here, there's areas here where if you just treat this as a rectangle, so you imagine there's a rectangle that goes around here, and that's how you normally do a collision. An asteroid can be here, isn't really colliding with the spacecraft, but it would be detected as a, as a collision. So instead, I have to look at various points around the spacecraft, and these are the coordinates relative to the center of the spacecraft. One thing I've added in this game is a scrolling background. In this case, it's a single image that um, is wrapped around, and this is how you can create a, a wrapping, a wrap around background. If you want to scroll to be horizontal, then you would just change the scroll position and the offset into the x variable instead of the y variable. In this case, it's scrolling up, so it uses the y variable. Uh, very standard draw functions, the enemies dot draw, the enemies is multiple asteroids. So it, it draws all those spacecraft, and here the shots are drawn. The, the shots you can have multiple shots, and each of those is held in a, a list called shots. Uh, some text messages, the text entries for the score and the lives remaining, and if it's the start of the game, you've got press player to start the game or 
the end of the game, we've got the game over. Update function mainly covers um, the first, the, the status depends upon whether you're in a game or not. Um, and that determines how the keyboard is handled and whether it moves the spacecraft around or whether it's the, the press any key, the press space bar or press start to, to start the game. And see for uh, some of these I've used keyboard.space or keyboard.l shift in this case. Um, that's to allow keyboard.space if you're playing with a standard computer or a normal Raspberry Pi with a keyboard and keyboard.l shift because the left shift button is one of the keys on PyCade. So if you wanted to be able to play this in the PyCade arcade machine, which is what it's been designed for, then it uses the L shift. Uh, updates the shots, things like that. Um, here's, here's the collision detection. Um, the collision detection is actually handled in the enemies and enemies class, and if it comes back that there's been a collision, then subtract the point and things are back over. But here's an example of how sound is played using sounds. Space dot crap space underscore crash is the name of the sound file. It's, in this case, it's a uh, a dot web file and dot play to say play the sound. Keyboard handling uh, for movement, um, which is uh, been used throughout the, the video. So if you look at my other Game Zero videos, that's explained in those. This is really just a, a very quick run through. This is the um, sort of game that you'll be able to create if you follow through my book. Um, you should be able to if, if just work your way through the files, uh, through all the source code, and and, and read through and, and uh, understand it as well through that way. And then, so this is it. So this is the the final game. Create. It's it's quite basic, so plenty of opportunity for expanding that creating it uh, how you want it. So I hope you uh, have a chance to have a go. Take, download the source code, play it for free, and uh, I'll take that source code and try and improve it. So this has been um, one of a series of videos explaining about uh, the book and as a, a guide through Pi Game Zero. Um, hope you found these useful. Uh, if you haven't seen some of the others yet, then, then go to my YouTube channel, Penguin Tutor, and work your way through them. And uh, follow my YouTube channel, and I'll be creating some other projects in the future.